Okay, today we're gonna discuss 80 and newer full-size Jeep transfer cases. Only three available from 80 through the end of 91. 208, MP228, MP229. They all have a little red tag on the back that tells you what they are. 208 is the most preferred one lever does all your shifting. 228, which is available in 86 only, and the 229 have a vacuum operated diaphragm, and that's what shifts it between four high and two high. A lot of times the diaphragm blows out, or some of your lines going from the engine to the switch, or from the switch down to this, go bad, get brittle, get missing, stuff like that. And you flip the switch on the dash, it might say four high, but this never engages into four high and it's still in two wheel drive. Some people are offering twin stick conversions for these, or you just get underneath it with a wrench. Right now, two wheel drive. Pull that little lever. That's what the diaphragm vacuum engages. Pulls this in. Now you have four wheel drive. Same thing on this. Four wheel drive. Now the 208 shifting sometimes could be a pain in the butt. Feels like you got twice as many gears as you need. Move up one gear, I think, and that should be four high, one to one ratio. Now, let's explain the difference between the 229 and the 228. And this applies only in four high. Spin the input shaft, hold this tight, and you see the front drive shaft spins. Same thing, if you hold the front drive shaft tight, spin the rear output, it spins. 229, if you hold either of the drive shaft yokes, you can't turn the input shaft. Physically, these are the same cases. Same dimensions to the front drive shaft, rear drive shaft. This front drive shaft will be the same. The case here is about five inches shorter, so if you swap one of these in, you're going to need a longer rear drive shaft. All right, now on to the important thing why we all drive Jeep four low. 208, easy. Spin this once, this turns about 2.6 times. pop this in four low, whereas when it was in just four high and you could hold this drive shaft and spin the input and the rear drive shaft would spin, now when it's in four high, I'm sorry, four low, everything is locked. Same with the 229. All of these are low ratio of about 2.6, 2.61 I think. So in two wheel drive or four low, there is no difference. They all lock in the same, they all have the same gearing, they all have the same style and strength of internal parts. The biggest problem with these is the finicky vacuum stuff. This is out of a 229. So if you're considering to swapping in a 208, figure out the reason you want to. 
Is it because you're having vacuum issues and vacuum problems? You can buy a twin stick for this or make your own or get up underneath it and shift it into four-wheel drive from two-wheel drive with a wrench. I've done it a bunch. I hope this helps explain some of the myths and issues with full-size Jeep transfer cases.